Welcome back, Burnett here. I'll be talking about one of the other books that I mentioned. This is Resist, Persist. Now this is a smaller book. It's a book of poetry. And I wrote this in, in different phases. Poetry, you know, you don't just necessarily write it all at once. I initially published it in 2017, the same year I did Protect and Clear with the Divine. I decided I want to put my poetry together. And I was inspired by, well, let's say the political climate and social climate in America shifted drastically at the end of 2016, coming into 2017. I didn't feel like this was the same America I'd grown up in, but then realized it really was. I was just seeing it through new eyes. But I'm also a spiritual being. I'm also a new thought person. And so there was this push and pull of like, what do I do with this? this the feelings that I've got. How do I remain, remain optimistic and hopeful while still acknowledging that some mess is going on, right? And I feel like it's still relevant today, right? It's like, Oh no, we didn't get through it. We didn't get over it. It's still going on. It's still happening. We still must resist and persist. And I know in the New Thought community, the, the New Age community, there is you know, this thing about resisting. That which resists, persist. And that's that was kind of like one of the things around this book was there is a resistance, but how do you come through that? How do you acknowledge it? and then come through it. How do you say yes? You know what? I've, <laughs> I'm feeling this right now and I'm, I'm not okay with it, but I realize also I cannot dwell in it. It's like you allow those feelings to come up, you acknowledge them, you make sense of them, and then you say, okay, what do I do next? How do I persist? This is just part of the very first poem called Whisper in the Wind. My hands glide across the keyboard and yet I stare at nothing. Inspiration sapped by desperation. What words can I even say? Does nothing mean anything? My tears dot the eye. I cannot. I will not leave the keys. Something may yet come forth, but I'm not supposed to let it. It isn't polite to speak such things or in that way. Smile and wave, that's how you do it. Get through it one more day. Smile and wave. Stuff it down, cause my irritation isn't welcome here, it never was. Will it ever be? It does continue. But that's just a little bit of the very first poem in there. So that's why I wrote this book. It was to help people have the courage to continue. Even in the midst of what they were seeing and experiencing, you must persist. Thanks.